Well, in today's video, guys, we're going to finish milling all the material we need to finish our sawmill shed here. As you can see, I've made some pretty good progress. I do have all the posts set and the rough framing done. And it's also a great time to go back through all of the material that I've made over the past couple of months and take the live edge down and actually get these boards into a project that they can be used on. And if you have a sawmill, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You get this stuff set stacked up thinking that you're going to get around to using it or cleaning it back up. And today's the day. Let me get this thing flipped over and we'll see what the other side has. It does not take long to get a pile of material stacked up that, you know, you need to clean up. And I can't think of a better project to use it on than finishing the shed up here. I want to get the saw protected before we get bad weather coming in. We've only got a couple more months before things start to change for us. It's also going to be nice to have the lumber rack cleaned back up. And that way, as we start milling some of the logs that we have stacked up, we've got a nice place to get them. Put where they needed to be and uh, allow them to air dry. Let me take this edge off of there and see what we end up with. We'll have to get used to the posts and things like that setting here in the way now. But the shed should work out really nice for us. Got the big cant back on the mill now, guys. And for our shed here, I'm going to keep these at standard sizing. So I'm going to rip us an inch and a half plank off of there, and then we'll rip it down into our three and a half inch dimension for our two by fours. So we need six of those, and then whatever is left, we'll just turn into one by material. And again, I will keep them at three quarters of an inch thick and three and a half inches wide. Another thing I will mention, the bark has been off of this for, actually I got to thinking about it, almost a year now. And if you remove the bark, these things will weather pretty good for you. Unlike the pile of logs to where the bugs can get underneath the bark and that's how they start eating the wood away the bark protects them from birds and things like that. If you remove the bark, they don't have that protection and it's also harder to chew into the harder wood versus the soft bark wood. Let's take a plank off this thing and see what it's going to look like for us. our first one by off of there guys look at that
white oak is some amazing looking material when you get down to something like that. This is a strong material as well. This stuff is a really durable material to build with. That's almost too nice of a looking material to use on our sawmill shed, isn't it? That's beautiful. We'll put this back on the mill here in a little bit. Cut this guy down into the width we need. Well, this one looks better than the last one did, guys. I will finish milling it down again and get our two befores and our one buys out of this. And uh, when you get to make material like this for yourself, it really is something special every time you open one of these logs up. And this is going to be awesome material for our shed build here. And it's going to be really nice to get our saw dried in so we don't have to worry about the weather being on this thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're milling material like this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's something new every time you open one up. I'll talk to you on the next one. I've got to get the shed done.